I can't leave the living room. I can't leave the living room.
God is good. All the time. One more again. God is good. All the time. Amen. Hallelujah. I like to pray to pay my respect to this altar and this pulpit. It's being blessed for us Christians and each and everyone in the world to pray. I myself have a great privilege and appreciation that Terry and William Arakia led me to the MC for JJ Arakia. To welcome his minister, Kata E.E. Tapa, and even Mama, the minister, the first girl for JJ of Crystal Spring, California Nevada Conference. I'd like to welcome the DS. There is a DS over here, but his wife is one of JJ's teacher. That he is here with us to celebrate the second life and farewell to JJ Oregia together with William and Terry and Joseph Oregia and the family. Let's give a hand to the district superintendent. They are here with us. And I'm salute. To all the soldiers saving life for United States of America, that you are here tonight to celebrate the life of our children, that it was gifted by the Lord. God, Lord Almighty, Heavenly Father, gifted us a son named JJ. And I'm looking at you guys' uniform tonight. I remember the day that JJ kicked the ball at the field with William. Welcome to all the five cow. Families, relatives, friends, teachers, children that you are in the school with JC. You all welcome here tonight. Together with the parents to celebrate JC life and to say goodbye to him. I thank you for all of you. I'm giving this opportunity to Jason Arakia, Minister Kata E.E. Taba, to start our prayer for tonight. Thank you very much. I would like first to give a hand to the MC. Praise the Lord. Thanks be to God for a time that he called us together. Even it's a loss for all of us, but it's a time to praise God, to worship God. And I will take this moment before I'm giving to the district superintendent, uh, Blake, to say the prayer for us. A short reminder from Jesus' word to his disciples when 
the disciples had were in trouble because they knew Jesus is going to be gone from their midst. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in the Father and believe in me. And I would say this word is coming from JJ, mom and dad, and all my siblings and all my family. Don't let your heart be in trouble. Believe in God the Father and believe in Jesus. Because I am going to the home that Jesus promised. I'm going to prepare a home for you. And now Jesus is coming and take me back home. How can we walk forward? The message from JJ tonight is for you and me. Keep on believe. Because I did believe in him. I fight with him. And today, my home is ready for me. I'm going back home with Jesus. Remaining from JJ and from Crystal Springs United Methodist Church. Our heart is in trouble. Our heart is broken because our loved one is going back home. But not let your heart be troubled. Keep on believing. Keep on believing for those who have faith in God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. The promise, the advocate, the Holy Spirit is coming to you and be with you until the end of your time. Let that Holy Spirit lead us forward. Now, that is the message from JJ, a faithful little brother of mine of all the families of Crystal Spring UMC and all of the all of the annual conference of California Nevada United Methodists we all together with JJ tonight and forever move forward with a heart of peace and love and mercy from the Holy Spirit of God I'm asking the DS to lead us in the prayer, please. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Kati, for the invitation to, to lead in the opening prayer. As was mentioned, I'm, I'm here uh, in connection especially with my, my wife, Peggy, and other educators who are here who have had a special bond with JJ and with uh, the family and uh, who are here to express, as everybody else here today, uh, their love for JJ and for all of his family. And um, a remarkable family you all are. Uh, we are so moved by the great love that we all have experienced, both near and far, that has been expressed over these years and even now uh, that has been shared. That, that great love that we all feel and experience is indeed God in our midst. And it's that that we, we share together today. I'm also here. Uh, yesterday, I was with uh, our bishop, Minerva Carcano, and with all the other superintendents, uh, Stacy Current, your superintendent at Crystal Springs, David Hong, uh, David, uh, I'm sorry, Samuel Hong, superintendent here, as well as David New, superintendent, and also Shinya Goto. And we had prayer yesterday as a, as a, as a cabinet with our bishop for JJ and his family. And it was a very moving time together that we are, we are with you as well. And our prayers are with you. And, and his story, his amazing life, and, and your amazing family has, uh, ripples throughout many of our lives and has blessed us, blessed us all. So it's a real privilege to be here with all of you and to offer this prayer. Let us pray together. Gracious and loving God, it is our great love for, for JJ and for his family that draws us here today. And in the midst of, of this great love, we experience your love for each one of us. And we thank you and we praise you and we honor you and worship you. And we know, Lord, there has been such great uh, suffering and such great uh, battle that has gone on. And we know that you have been in the midst and we have witnessed some amazing things, some amazing ways in which this, this family, these children of yours, Lord, have have embraced and have shared this love and have been able to pass it on to others, other children, other families who have great need as well. 
And so we're here today to celebrate, to thank you for JJ's full life. Short in years, Lord, but, but full and abundant, has touched so many. And through his life, we have felt your, your touch, your grace, your comfort, your strength. And we feel ourselves, Lord, drawn even closer to you and closer to one another, both in our need and also in our, our gratitude for a life, uh, a life well lived. And so we ask you, Lord, to be with us, to be with us as we continue to, to lift up and to celebrate his life. We ask your special blessing upon his family. May you bring them comfort and strength and assurance of your presence. And we thank and we ask you to be with us all, for we lean upon you. We cannot walk this life, we cannot walk through the trials we have without your constant leadership and guidance. We thank you for our family of faith, for our extended family, for all who are connected through JJ's amazing life. We offer you glory and praise, and we open our hearts, we open our minds, we open our souls to your presence, your peace, your grace, and the gratitude that's stirring within us for our connection to JJ and all the, the ways in which he has made our lives just a little bit better. We commit ourselves to that in the future, Lord, to continue to spread great love and affection and community and networking together. We dedicate this time to you as we dedicate his life to you and thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please, we'll follow up the program that is already done. And I understand each and every one of you might have one. And I don't have very much time to disturb that Kata'i is going to start our program for tonight. And you, we have the hymn, Te Al Tafa. After that, we're going to sing that hymn, Delta Fa. I'd like to excuse myself for all the, the Palangi people. Palangi means like the bishop, and each and everyone. Because I'm going to spell the hymn. There is no hymn in the Palangi Church 114. But I'm going to spell it in Tongan. And then I ask, Etau Fahima, Okuiheni Kehui Kene, Huama Etahiva. Tonight we have to lift up our spirit. And lift up ourselves. That's why JJ wants us to be, to be happy, and humble, and be patient, and ask the Lord to be pure with us tonight. That's what it is. Hallelujah! Say it loud. Hallelujah! Amen! Praise the Lord! That's exactly what JJ wants. Hear me, dear Tafai, follow follow me. Eki ko ofa au ko moana lolot. Penga lo fa kia e kunga anga hia. Pia ko of of e ku ko vi ko to ape.
fiso ko ma fufulo anga ku kalanga kina ko ma anga ya ya ata ata ina ki mama ni ko to be coming from down there to over here. You have to light up because the school teachers, there are a few over here. And I like to uh, give one of the opportunity to one of the co-worker, Williams Orikia, that I noticed they all line up over here. Line up over here, the soldiers. I'd like to give an opportunity to one of, or two of you people to have a few words, to share a few words with us. And then after that, I'll ask the teachers and the community to have a words and please, those teachers are over here. And JJ teacher, I have seat over here for you people. If you are here now, then you can come up to the front. And then we go from there. And I appreciate it. Thank you. I understand it says over here, William family. But I like to give the opportunity to the soldiers. They are over here so they can first start. 
our program for tonight. It's only one word or two words, but please do. We appreciate it. I know you understand English and we will do English. Tonight we will be speaking in English. We learn how. This is not the second language for us, Tonga. This is our primary school back home in Tonga. Thank you very much for the soldiers. I invite one of you to open speech for us. Thank you. We have the, the music. Please, in between that, that we have a little music. Otherwise, I'm asking you people to sing. Jesus loves us, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. How about that? We are coming here to celebrate the life of JJ. Please. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Wonderful. They know that we speak in this in tongue. Yes. yes. Thank you. We welcome. Hey, give a big hand. Yes. The soldiers are over here. They save our life. Don't care. So I know JJ through his father, Command Sergeant Major Arecchia, um, and he's brought a lot of strength to my life and our battalion, which represents about 650 soldiers throughout the Bay Area. Every time I talk to Sergeant Major, I'm like, how's your day? And he's like, there's never a bad day. Every day's a blessing. And it's brought great perspective, and that's how JJ's going to live on with us and the Gold Miner Battalion. Thank you. My name is Command Sergeant Major Derma, and I'm the, currently the 40th ID Command Sergeant Major as well as the State Command Sergeant Major. And um, this is an inspiring service, celebration of life for JJ. I had the blessing to watch the video of CSM Arecha getting pinned by his son. I showed it to many people at my place of business, my work, and, and it was a touching, touching ceremony. Um, the family has a motto, correct? What's the motto? We have a lot of models, Sergeant Major. One step at a time? one step at a time. And um, we took that model, I stole it from you, and we use it at my work. Because it's an inspirational story. It's an inspirational story. And I'm extremely proud to be, to be here tonight. And I thank you for your invitation. And it's a blessing every day. And your family's model, JJ's life, and inspiration that he led is inspiring many people here today. You're a very loved family. He was a loved young man. Thank you. Fafita, mean praise the Lord. That's what it is. They save our life. These people, they are here with us. They share it with us. And thank you. I'm asking those uh, people, they are playing music, to please give us a two or music, and then after that, if one of the teachers are over here, or the community, one of the community person that you like to share life with us tonight, and not only that, ask Lord to lift up our spirit for tonight. It looks like the, you look so sad. There is no look, look so sad. Please, music, and then after that, you have the program. After this, I invite JJ's family, which is me, Joe Oregia. Thank you.
want to thank Selen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to also thank very much Selanoa, who I've known for many, many years, my wife's first cousin, and uh, she does a tremendous job being the MC of this event. I mean, I can't thank you enough. It's beautiful. JJ was my first grandson, and I was there when he was born. He suffered from multiple cancers. He was five years old. We had taken him and his brother Johnny to McDonald's restaurant for a snack. And uh, he was in the play area. You have these tubes that you climb up. I'm sure you've all seen them where the kids play. And he screamed out in pain, and I couldn't understand <laughs> why. He had broken his leg. And it was very unusual because the area where he was playing wasn't, you know, he hadn't dropped or fallen or anything. And uh, so we climbed up there. Matter of fact, I even climbed up that tube. Uh, thank you to Johnny who showed me how to get up there. And uh, JJ had suffered a broken leg, which was due to a tumor that was developing in his leg right above the knee. And that was the moment that we knew something was wrong and that a cancer had developed in his leg. And uh, he went through a surgical procedure, an amputation of his leg, and went through chemotherapy, radiation, long bouts of that that made him sick. And then it appeared that he was uh, healed from that carcinoma, osteo a bone cancer and uh, things looked good for a number of years he, he, he wore a prosthetic leg which he called his robot leg and at school he was uh, able to get around quite well 
and uh, the other kids, you know, uh, they saw that he was handicapped, but still, J.J. made the most of that handicap. He never let it bother him. He was able to get by. The only child at school with that type of uh, uh, prosthetic leg, and still, he was brave, and he was able to persevere, and he always had a smile on his face, and it was a joy to be around him. He had such a good heart. He was such a, a kind-hearted boy. I mean, he, he was really, really a special boy. And he went through so much in his 14 years. And uh, only he knew the extent of the pain. All of the treatments, that there were brutal treatments to try and slow the progression of the brain cancer that had developed. He went through uh, heavy radiations, he went through chemotherapy, and uh, everything that he went through was uh, side effects. There were side effects from the radiation, there were side effects from the chemotherapy. Uh, I could go on and on, but he was my hero. JJ, in spite of all of the pain associated with the cancer, associated with the treatments that sometimes are worse, because of the side effects, the radiation, chemotherapy, so forth. He was my hero. And I always told him, JJ, you're my hero. Only you know the extent of the pain that you've gone through. And, uh, and he still was able to go on and try to be as positive as possible. His parents, Terry and William, his, his grandma on his mother's side, Ofan Kelela, Myself, my wife Nia, we did as much as we could to comfort him, but he still suffered a lot. And like I said, he'll always be my hero. And I told him many times, JJ, you're my hero. And I just want to leave uh, that, that uh, he'll always be my hero. He'll always be his parents' heroes. And every, each and every one of you that knew him know what I'm saying. He is our hero, and he'll always be our hero. And that's, that's uh, I can't think too much more to say, but uh, I'll just leave it at that. He'll always be a hero. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming out. We appreciate each and every one of you being here. We know that, you know, you have, all have lives that you wanted, you know, you have things to do on a Friday night, and you all made sure to come here to share and support and to be here, and I can't emphasize how much we appreciate that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, all of you, each and every one of you. And to the ministers here, thank you so much for being here. The district superintendent, all of you, Katai, Mama, Ivory Mama, yourself, thank you. I can't, uh, I can't say any more than that. So thank you, everybody, each and every one. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this moment, we um, give the opportunity to one of JJ Arakia teacher. She's over here, and after that, um, after that, I'm asking the song that is says over here. Dancing in the Sky by Danny and Liz Terrence's family after the teacher speech. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Vijay. I am one of um, JJ's teachers from Cesar Chavez Middle School. Um, so I actually am sharing um, a few things. One is from another teacher who wasn't able to make it tonight, but he wanted me to read something um, for JJ's family. So this is from Mr. Golt, and he says, I learned about JJ back in August of this school year. A few months later, a group of us teachers from CCMS went to visit him at his home. I was immediately struck by feelings of positivity, love, gratitude, and a tremendously strong family bond. JJ seemed so in the moment, 
and shared his drawings, a few stories, and a handful of laughs. He offered to draw Power Rangers for us, and he asked me which color I wanted. I responded with my favorite color is green, and so let's go with that. And it turned out that JJ's favorite color was green as well. I received the drawing a short time later, and it is proudly displayed in my classroom wall and will be until I retire. It will forever remind me of a gentle warrior soul whose life, while short, was long on impact and meaning. May God bless JJ. May his family and many close friends find peace and hold on to the things that he showed us about our delicate human condition. Gone, but never forgotten, may we all carry the torch for treating each other with kindness and compassion. And so that's from Mr. Golt. Um, I also wrote something about JJ. So I was able to get to know JJ um, in the sixth grade. Although he never attended Cesar Chavez in person, I was able to work with him as his case carrier um, for the, the years that he was in middle school. So when I first met JJ, he was about to enter sixth grade, and he, was, he did something called home hospital, where he would get his education at home. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that for him in the beginning, but his Cyril's family graciously continued to work with JJ through home instruction. Now when the pandemic hit, it wasn't, you know, it was not a great time, but the one good thing for me was I was actually able to work with JJ because I was able to work with him over Zoom. And so it was during the Zoom sessions that I was just able to get to know who this young man was, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. So many things about JJ stood out to me. He was funny, kind, polite, and so genuine. He always asked me about my own kids and how my husband was doing, and he really wanted to know. They would join in on Zoom sometimes with him, and he would just talk with them like they were friends, even though they were much younger than he was. Um, he would tell me about his love of singing, dancing, building Legos, and drawing. He even showed me one of his dance routines over Zoom. During those early days, my job was to teach JJ how to read, write, and do math. You know, those typical school subjects. But somehow, JJ always managed to get me to set aside some of those reading and writing tasks and play Kahoot or draw some pictures or tell a story. And I would say, OK, JJ, this time. But next time, we're going to do some reading and writing. And yet, somehow, I would always do a Kahoot with him again instead. Now, during this school year, um, we didn't do Zoom, but what we did do was JJ would FaceTime our class whenever he felt up to it, and we would just visit through these times in class. He shared his love of drawing with the class and even taught some of the students some drawing skills. There was a lot of laughter as some of the students weren't quite at the level of JJ. He would draw a Power Ranger and they would draw a blob with arms and JJ would say, good job guys, you're doing great. And that was just how JJ was. He would ask the kids their favorite colors and draw their characters for them. And I was the recipient of some of these beautiful drawings, these gifts that I will cherish forever. And even as JJ's health began to falter, and when he was so tired, he would still try to make an effort to call and just say hi. Um, he brought so much joy to the class, and we love him dearly. He taught us so much about how to fight when things don't go our way, and how to persevere through adversity. JJ will always be a part of our lives, and we're all better people because of him. And I just want to thank Terry and the rest of the Rekia family for just allowing me to be a part of JJ's life. You've taught me so much about having faith, unconditional love, and sacrifice, and I'm truly thankful to be a part of JJ's circle. I love you very much, and JJ will always be a part of our family. Thank you.
I thank you very much to JJ's um, teacher for sharing his life with us tonight. And that life, all parents want to hear how your children doing in classroom. And thank again. Kataki ko e hili pe e kuki fa hoha ko e ni e hiva hiva mai e hiva mai le wa ten sing in the sky e fo hiva ko ya the song by Tenny and Liz Turan family and then right after that we give that um, opportunity for uh, Fafikao Ivoni Mama to have a little a speech for us for JJ. This is Sunday School teacher and a minister. Bon hili koya, koko le atu, famole mole. E hi vale ba e toko hood. And I understand they are up there. Ka koko le famole mole, ka lo tonga hi vaka mo fe fe iloak pa mo mo katak my pe fe iloak. Say hello to JJ during the music, and I thank you very much. Mokataki, we don't have much time. I'm asking uh, if they cannot um, manage to do the song. I'm asking the other people to do the song. So it's a lot of people outside. They are willing to come and uh, say hello and goodbye to JJ. But I'm, I'm, I understand that you guys are then go ahead. Go Please, I don't want to spend much time on this thing. Fafeta, yes, it's okay. Me. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for being patient. Welcome, everyone. Family, friends, teachers, educators, William Erechia soldiers, bosses, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just like she announced, I just wanted to say it in English. We are going to sing songs. JJ was all about music. He listened to his tokohood, those brotherhoods upstairs, that's what he listened to all day, all night. And so we want to share them with you guys, okay? So what we're going to do is, tokohood's going to sing, Hoboy and my cousin Daniela is also gonna put some songs in. We are going to sing and sing and sing. And we want you guys to come and greet JJ Orecchia. Greet the family. Please, family and friends, we welcome you to come. While songs are being sung, the program is set for a purpose. We will run it to this purpose. And when it's time, my nephews and niece that will be singing that beautiful song, they will come and sing when it's time, okay? So now, the songs, Dr. Hood is going to sing, Daniela and her boy is going to sing, and we welcome you family, friends, please come and greet JJ, view JJ, and see the Arecchia family while the music is happening. Again, it is because I know this is not a traditional service. I understand. I'm sure some of you are struggling with this. But it's not traditional. JJ passing away is not traditional. He passed at 14, so everything about tonight will be geared toward JJ. So what he enjoyed most was his brotherhood singing. So we want to hear him. We want to hear them as they sing. Please, family and friends, please line up, come, greet him, and greet the family. This is your time. And then our program will continue to happen. 
Thank you so much with all respect, much love, and thank you for this time. Que 
to speak while the students are still coming and the community. Please do it. <coughs> Love you all. Raise up your heart. Call the Spirit to come fulfill us. Amen? Yeah. There you go.
We do appreciate the community and the children from the school of Jesus Summers Elementary School where JJ was. We appreciate you people being here with us tonight. Jesus said, love thy neighbor, and this is it tonight. The community shows us, love thy neighbor. You go ahead and keep singing. Go ahead, come here, Poco Mai, please do. Thank you, thank you. We all heard the voice from the sky. This is my only son. Listen to him. So SJC listen to him. Jesus Christ. That's the voice when he was baptized, Jesus was baptized. And that's the voice is sending us tonight by JJ. Listen to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, hallelujah. Here's the way. Here's the life. Here's the light. Thank you for being here with us tonight. There is no words for an appreciation from William and Terry and the family. You guys being here tonight. We thank you to Reverend Kalatin Ahio. Open up the pulpit and so is the member of UMC. He will open up the church for church. This is his community, and this is his neighbor. That's neighbor for us. That's only the words. Of course, Moses came down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Jesus came to complete the law and what is the law? Love one another. And this is it. We see it tonight. Love one another. Thank you. Thank you. How lucky JJ is. JJ, you have a district superintendent. with us and your minister and your minister of Sunday school so it's Colatini and Sina and the rest a lot of ministers over here tonight I ask myself is it gonna be anyone left for myself on my day how lucky you are JJ how lucky you are. You call the family. You call the community. You call Jesus, you know, with his love. To teach the family, love one another. Love one another. And test it. I understand the soldiers are over here. They were at Iraq. Afghanistan and 
they were at wilderness. I have Job chapter 29, verse 18. Job choose a word of a phoenix. Phoenix, it is like the eagle. But you, only soldiers, see the phoenix in the Middle East where the wilderness are. Phoenix, they lay their eggs. When they're getting older, they are ready to give another life from the test when they're getting old. To get another life, and this is it. New life is KJ. Only the soldiers know what kind of bird is the phoenix and the wilderness. That's life of JJ. But here it was with the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, community. Thank you for each and every one of us. The preacher is going to be tomorrow, not tonight. But thank you for those choirs. How lovely that you people are out here. So yes. There is no pandemic. There is no pandemic. God will kill us. While Dr. Hood is singing, Maya, let's go ahead and finish up the greetings, the viewing with JJ. You guys will have a turn again, but within three minutes. Within three minutes, my niece and nephews are going to sing Dancing in the Sky. They are the Duran kids, Jacob, Tatum, and Aaron. So within three minutes, Dr. Hood, everyone that is Feiloaki, everyone that is in this line, please respect the program. Within three minutes, my niece and nephew will be singing. And once that's finished, JJ's family will have their time. His father, William Arecchia, his brother, Johnny Arecchia, and his other brother, Walina Arecchia. So again, family, friends, you will have time to come and greet JJ. You will have time to view but we really want to run on our time of our program. Within one minute, please, we are going to have a special song sung for JJ, for JJ's family. It was specifically chosen for a moment like this. The Arecchia family chose this song to be sung by my beautiful niece and my handsome nephews before they speak. They will speak. And that will be a great time for all of us, family and friends, to watch, listen, when his father and his brothers will come and address all of you. Thank you so much for your patience. Again, I will have them sing. And again, can this line end? Let's end the line and the rest of you can come back and greet him after the rest of you can come back and greet him after JJ's family's time after William Walino and me and Johnny speak Dr. Hood Galapuafemaya it will be 
your song. You guys will sing right after the family. JJ's favorite hymn, JJ's favorite hymn is 518. Again, thank you so much for Thank you so much for following our program. And now my niece and nephews will sing a special song about JJ. And afterwards, his father and his brothers will come and address you. Thank you so much. Much love and respect. Thank you for being, your, for being patient through our program. Thank you. It's 
Thank you very much for singing that beautiful song. Now at this time, it is William Arecchia, JJ's family, this is your time. Excuse me. I'm trying to gather up as much courage as I can. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is William Arecchia. This is my wife, Terry Arecchia. That's our son, JJ. This is my son, Johnny. I have my son, Wilino. I have a, a two-year-old, or almost two. Her name is Lavinia, and I have a how old is little mama? Four? Five, five months, I think. Five months, uh, her name is Giovanna Gigi. We just started having a lot of kids, we're, we're, so I forgot their ages. But. For me to say I knew this day was not coming would be a lie. I knew this day would, in the back of my mind, I knew this day was coming, but in my heart, I believe in Jesus, and I knew that he would give us days that counted. Like Star Major said, we had a motto in our family, but our motto was adjusted when we got the, when we got the most horrible news from the hospital. You know, JJ touched so many lives. Just yesterday, we served like over 400 plates at our house. And I couldn't even believe it. I, I thought there was no way 400 people would come to our home of record. But they came. Without you guys here, this would not be possible. Without you guys here, there's no way we could get through this. I thank you, each and every one of you. We are all Team JJ. And I believe in God. And I know with my heart and my soul, God has a path for each and every one of us here. That's what I believe in. I have to believe in that. Because if, if I didn't believe in that, there's no way I would get through this heartache and pain. But I wanted to touch on Psalms 23. We all know it. We all feel it. But until it happens to you, just like faith, we all have faith. And I always say this, what is your faith until it's tested? That's faith. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, it states, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. 
That's faith. But I wanted to hit on Psalms 23. We're going to do a little scripture. My boys are going to sing a little song. They have a speech prepared for you guys. But I have to thank God for bringing us together. I have to thank God for my family, for Terry's family, for my military family that, that, that took the time to come. This really means a lot to us. Even the J.J. stuck a hood up top. But thank you to each and every one of you. You know, in Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me down the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they will comfort me. He will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He will anoint my head with oil. My cup will run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for the many days of my life. For we will all dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hello, uh, my name is John Arecchia, the younger sibling of JJ. Me and my little brother Rolino are going to sing a song for you guys. Uh, it's Psalms chap uh, chapter 23 in Tongan. <laughs> Indu my melie, O faka for no equilasi, pu ilatea. Go see, wapea. O ku da ilele. E i kaitelma siva. sibling of Molino, I mean, J.J. Arakia, and I'm Molino Arakia, the third youngest boy, and I just want to say thank you for coming. It means a lot to our little family since we've been through a rough time, and like my dad said, it wouldn't have been possible without you guys, and I just want to say how I feel, and I feel sad and happy. I feel sad that my brother's not here, but I also feel happy that he's in heaven with, with Jesus and God, dancing, singing, and drawing. And that's how I feel. I feel very happy right now. And my favorite memory was with JJ is when he taught me how to build Legos. He got me into a lot of things 
and he influenced me. He is my leader for a lot of reasons. He's my leader because he's strong, he has courage, integrity, he's a warrior. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. If I live, I live for the Lord. If I die, I die for the Lord. If, I, if whether I die or I live, we belong to the Lord. And that's my Bible verse. And I just want to say thank you for coming. And... This concludes my speech, following me by Johnny. First of all, I'd like to say thank God that we're here together. But God is good. All the time. All the time. I need to feel you guys. Do you hear me? God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Amen. Hallelujah. But well, first of all, I'd like to thank God for uh, bringing us here together. It's been a tough, tough week for us, but I'm not sad. I'm happy. I know that JJ is in a good place. He doesn't have to feel pain no more. He doesn't have to torture. No, he doesn't have to get tortured by cancer. But I'm happy for him. At least in a good place. And my Bible verse is Psalm chapter 73, verse 26. My heart and my flesh will fail, but God strengthened my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. I say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but usually I. JJ, the most of the time, JJ was at the hospital. But every time people party around and go somewhere nice, we here at the hospital. Christmas, Thanksgiving, everything. We at the hospital every week. My mom and dad have to take JJ to the hospital every week and another. It's, and it's tiring. And ever since JJ passed, I had to take the big brother job. It's going to be really tough, but... With God, anything's possible. Amen? Amen. I said amen. I said amen. Amen. My favorite moment with JJ, it was when my mom and dad used to go to work. Me, uh, JJ used to wake me up. I was like, Johnny, Johnny, let's go eat uh, all the junk food in the kitchen. <laughs> and my mom and dad find out, we just blame it on Molino. <laughs> I had a lot of moments with JJ, but... The last, word, uh, the last few words he told me what, before he went to sleep was, hey, Johnny, can you pass me that blue pen over there? I said, sure. And we were, my brother, JJ, and I were building Legos together. My first time building Legos, JJ was telling me, Johnny has to do this, Johnny has to do that. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun, a good time with JJ. He's in a good place. I know, I'm sorry, but it's been a... <clears throat> but, uh... JJ, uh, I know JJ's in heaven because he used to pray with me a lot every day before, and he used to sing church songs. I 
know it's troubling, but at least we got through it. JJ's my older brother, and I, I can't fill his shoes to be the older brother. But, but when sometimes when I'm always down on myself, JJ always says, it says to me, he always said, Johnny, if if I can do it, you can do it, and and I love you too, Johnny. And JJ apologized to me when. When my mom and dad getting more, uh, giving getting more attention than me and my brother, he said, jo "Johnny, I'm sorry that I'm getting more attention from mom and dad more than you do. And can you please forgive me for that?" I said, "Yes, I forgive you." JJ was a warrior. Amen. Amen. I need to feel you. Out. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, may I have a hua? Hua. Hua. I want to hear everybody say hua. Can I have a hua? Hua. <laughs> Thank you. Ofatu, love you guys. And this concludes my, uh, my speech, following by my dad. Mom, sorry. Mom first. I just want to tell a quick story, you know, at our house. I try to prepare my children to speak in front of groups. Because I don't ever want them to get in front of a group and not feel comfortable. So I, I have them do briefs, little briefs. I mean, I taught them all the Army values, so they know them well. And I even challenged my soldiers. I, we had a Best Warrior competition, and one of the guys up there, he didn't say all the best, all the army values correctly. And I told him, I said, dude, my kids know the army values, man. Come on, bro. Like, <laughs> but before JJ passed, we just did a, we had a little, just a little gathering. So we had friends and family over. So I said, hey, you two, these two right here, you guys are going to brief them on miracles. And they're like, oh, come on. I said, just, just entertain me, please. I just want to get you in front of somebody different and just talk to them. And we talked about miracles. And I want to talk a quick story. I mean, not, I'm not doing no malanga or anything like that. But trust me, that's tomorrow. But, you know, in the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 22 to 25, Jesus and his disciples were, they were on a boat together. And while they're on a boat together, the boat got really rocky. And while the boat got really rocky, the, all the disciples thought they were going to drown. So what happened was, one of the disciples went to Jesus and said, Jesus, the boat's going to flip over. We need you. So Jesus walked out there. He calmed down the storm. He made everything calm. And he looked at them and said, you guys have no faith. And I look here and I use that story as a reference for our family. We're in that boat. It's rocky right now. We're turning to God for faith. We're turning to God because we need help. And you guys are also in that boat because we are all Team JJ. Please, we need you guys. And I appreciate, like I said earlier, every single one of you guys here. Because our boat is really rocky right now. And it hasn't hit me yet because we've been so busy all week 
that, that my son's laying right there in that casket. I can't even say it because we've been so busy all week trying to prepare for all this. You know, it hasn't hit me yet. Just last night, we got some more t some Team JJ shirts in, and the guy, Ken, he makes them. I was like, oh, you got these special shirts for Jay? I'm going to make sure he gets them. And then it hit me. Jay's not in the living room no more. When I come down the stairs every day, I used to be so thankful because I say, thank God, I got another day with Jay. Thank God. And then just the other night, you know, I can't, I can't say that no more. But, you know, I tried to prepare a speech. I didn't follow my, my guidelines. I tried to take notes. I couldn't. I'm going to speak it from my heart. And I really appreciate it. Like I said, I cannot say it enough. Thank you. Off out, Malo. We're going to sing a song for you guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Teardrops Falling Down My Face. Teardrops falling down my face. We're going to miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. Teardrops falling down my face. We're going to miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. All your pain is gone away, hey. and there's no more suffering hey. for you, Jay. for you, Jay. for you, JJ. JJ, we love you. Teardrops falling down my face. We're gonna miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. Teardrops falling down my face. We're gonna miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. Remember all those times we had. You used to tell us just to make us laugh. And now you're gone, we're gonna miss that. We love you, we love you, and that's a fact. We love you, we love you, and that's a fact. We love you, we love you, and that's a fact. We love you, we love you, and that's a fact. Teardrops falling down my face. We're gonna miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. Teardrops falling down my face. We're gonna miss you, JJ. Your love will never be erased. You're in a better place. Amen. Ofat. Amen. There, there was a video to be played, but we're still in the process of working that out right now. So I would like Maya for you guys to sing JJ's favorite hymn, favorite hymn, 518. And while you guys are singing, all New Haven School District employees, friends, families, they are right here to the side. And it will be their turn after Kalapu Afemaya Tokohut sings Hiva Mai Nimatavalu, Famore More, Paosko Yak, or Ufayak, or Principal, or Ufreno Jete, or Natalia Tapaki, and Faina Porokalama. Paosko Yak, the Hokwate Taporokalama, Malo Apito.
Thank you. At this time, teachers and friends of JJ Arecchia will speak, will share. They are from the amazing New Haven School District in Union City, okay? And so the very first speaker, they're all gonna just take a couple of minutes and run their time. But the very first speaker is a very special young, young boy, young man. He's actually J.J. Arecchia's best friend. We all know him because you know what? He saw him every weekend. He called J.J. every day. He really was a loyal friend to J.J. He's such a special young man to us. So he will lead off the sharing for the educators, for the teachers. Um, so at this time, it will be um, JJ's best friend's turn. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Abraham Ramos. I am proud to say that I was JJ's best friend. We met way back in second grade at Cyril's Elementary School. Over the years, JJ and I formed a great friendship. JJ loved Legos, loved to draw, and loved to sing. JJ drew a drawing of him and me as a gift for our friendship anniversary. And he would FaceTime me while he was drawing and singing. And I was just on the other end watching and listening to him. JJ and I built Legos and played Call of Duty together. We created a secret handshake. And every time we saw each other, we did our secret handshake as a symbol of our loving friendship. I have so many words to describe JJ, but I will remember him as a strong, determ determined, and thoughtful friend because JJ never gave up. Thank you. Thank you, Walino, Johnny, Terry, William, thank you very much. My name is Raquel Bokaj. I was blessed to be one of JJ's administrators at Cyril's Elementary, where he attended elementary school. I was fortunate to watch JJ grow. As I reflect on those years, I'm honored to testify how positively impactful he was to so many people. He truly made this world a better place. JJ reminded us we could tackle anything no matter how hard, as long as we had faith. He reminded us of the importance of being selfless in all that we do. He best exemplified the spirit and determination to strive for excellence. He reminded us of the importance of community togetherness. And of course, he helped me and many others be better dancers. <laughs> I hope we will continue his legacy by being faithful to our values as he was, being selfless in what we do as he was, striving each day to be better as he was, continuing to lean on one another as he did, and dance like no one was watching, like he did. JJ, thank you for inspiring me to be a better version of myself God bless you. God bless your family. We are here for you now and always. Thank you. Oh. 
I first met JJ when he joined my class as a first grader. It was the first time he had been back at school since his diagnosis. I won't lie, his transition wasn't easy, and he let me know he'd rather be at home. And why wouldn't he? Those of you here know that know how each and every member of the Arecchia family embraces you like their own. Every morning, Terry would bring him in, crying, scooting to the door, pretending to kick me. JJ gave me my morning cardio. The whole year, we spent the first 15 minutes of school together before students arrived. Just me and JJ. 15 minutes every day of his first grade year. We would pick out pictures to color so he would stay in the classroom with me. And we would watch kids unbox toys on YouTube. We would Google his favorite characters, Skylander, Transformers, and of course, Power Rangers. Through the years, he would always apologize for giving me a hard time and I never accepted his apology, for there was nothing to be sorry for. Because of him, I got to know him, what he liked, who his family was, and the characters he admired, which exemplified strength and champions of tough fights, just like JJ. Because of him, he taught me not to complain so much, be joyful, and be appreciative for what I have. Because of him, my student taught me, his teacher, to be a better teacher, a better person. JJ, I will miss you. Hi, I'm Mina Narainen, and I've had the honor of knowing JJ since he was in kindergarten at Cyril's. My deepest condolences to the Orekia family and JJ's family, and by that I mean each and every one of us here. Well, I would like to share a wonderful memory of JJ. This story begins on a sad note but ends in a happy one. It was a rough start from the time JJ came back to school after his amputation. I have spent many a morning with him on the floor outside Ms. Castillo's classroom as he did not want to transition in and was very upset about his leg stump. From there, he eventually transitioned slowly, but surely into a wheelchair, walker, walker, and finally the robot leg. Well, I know he struggled with the prosthesis initially and many a day we would find it tossed under his desk as he was getting used to wearing it and didn't like it very much. Finally, somewhere around second grade, I was walking with him to my room to work with him. I usually adjusted my pace to match his. That day was different. He looked at me and he said, Miss Mina, let's have a race to your room. Taken aback a little, I complied and we both began to run across the blacktop. There was this fierce and determined young man running ahead while I was trying to keep up. You know who won, JJ, of course. But it does not end there. He turned back and looked at me and cheered me. Miss Mina, you can do it, he said. Well, JJ, as we say goodbye to you today, I need you once more to cheer us all along the way and say, you can do it, as the journey ahead without you is a tough one. Know that you are loved and will forever be in our hearts. I am a better person for knowing you. May we all pause a moment from our daily pleasures to give thanks for the life of JJ and the love he brought into this community. May we forever find ways to keep memories of him alive. We love you, JJ. I love you, Orakia family. Thank you for including us. I'm Christina Galera, and I was JJ's resource teacher. JJ was always so full of life. It was such a privilege to work with him and to see him grow as a person. 
JJ always showed pride in his work and he was proud of everything he was able to accomplish. JJ showed so many kids at Cyril's that having a robot leg was the coolest thing ever. And he became their superhero. And he will forever be mine. Thank you. Good evening. <clears throat> My name is Quinn Perry. Some of the kids and parents might know me as Mr. Perry. I had the pleasure of being the after school supervisor for JJ and his siblings and his family. Um, I wanted to come up here and just say thank you to the Arecchia family and JJ. We couldn't give back half of what you gave to us. And I really thank you for that. Especially these kids in here that know him, remember him. When things get rough, you'll get through because he did. And I just want to say thank you to the family for having the great love that you have raising a good young man and keeping the spirit high, because it wasn't just JJ in the fight, it was the family. And it was a blessing to see you guys every day with love. And I've seen people with half of the things that you go through with less of a positive attitude. So if we can do that, if we can keep that team JJ spirit, no matter through the tough times, even us adults, they can teach an old dog new trick. When times get hard, that JJ spirit, that's the way we remember him and I'll always do that with every kid I touch, every kid I've been through and who's been through my program. I will always make sure they have that JJ spirit and I will give them my full energy on my worst days. And I really wanted to say thank you to JJ, his family, and all the love that you guys produce with all the things going on. You guys are blessed. I love you and thank you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Carmen Kraska, and I was the second grade teacher for JJ. I want to thank Terry and Will and his family for giving me the unique privilege of being the second grade teacher also to Johnny and Willino. My family knows about the Orecchias because I've had so many wonderful stories to share about JJ with them, as well as Bolino and Johnny. We have our phones with us, and I had to purchase more memory for the photos on my phone. I try to save a little money by deleting pictures, because I have more pictures than music than, than anything else. I have a special album on my phone of JJ and his family. Those are pictures that I will never delete. Um, so I thank the family for giving me this opportunity for teaching such wonderful, wonderful, beautiful boys. When JJ came to my classroom for second grade, it was a rough start. He was trying to get used to his prosthetic leg. Terry would come into the classroom to help him transition. JJ was spirited, he was determined, he knew what he wanted and what he didn't want. He would go under the table so that he didn't have to be in the classroom. And I said, JJ, if you're under the table, I'm going to teach from under the table. And so I crawled under the table with him. Terry was there. And he didn't want me under there next to him. So he came out and eventually we worked things out and I share these these little memories with you because those hard times were one of my fondest memories of him as we got to learn to know each other and care for each other and I even had a timer on my phone because he didn't want to go out to recess and I would say JJ five minutes to recess, put your leg on. And he would stall, but he would eventually 
put his leg on and we'd go out to recess because I had duty and I could not leave him in the classroom. So as I think about the wonderful boy that he was, we grew to know each other. Green was my favorite color, is my favorite color, was JJ's color. He loved the music. He loved the dancing. The whole class with Abraham there, we would do our step Reebok as our fun times together and for our movement. And so as I think about his legacy and his life, I think about the connections we have to each other, the love and the bravery that he holds and he showed us, and I think how, what can each of us do to connect with each other, to show our love, our kindness, our generosity, because JJ was all of that. He embodied love, he embodied kindness, he embodied generosity, and most of all, he made, made connections with all of us together. So thank you so much, the Rekia family, the community, our Searles family, and all who are the better because of JJ. Thank you, we love you. I was, um, I was told to keep this short, so I'll, I'll try my best. Um, I'm Sergio Mendoza. I went to Searles Elementary School with JJ. And uh, we had a class together, not class, we had a social group together. And um, every time I went inside the, the class that we did social group in, it was one of the best times I had at that, at that elementary school. JJ brought so much of his energy, so much light, heart, and his personality to the classroom. It was, it was really amazing. Um, uh, a memory that I have with um, JJ was one day in social group, I don't know. I don't remember how exactly, but he insisted that he can sing Louis Armstrong's "What a Wonderful World" from memory. And um, he slipped up a little bit at the beginning and said, "I see clouds of green instead of trees of green." If if I recall correctly, no one like none of the members of the group bullied him for it. It was it was all uh, jokes and laughs, and I I thank him for being for being a good sport for that. He was, he was a really, really good man, and he will be missed dearly. Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Jalea. I'm one of JJ's best friends. Um, I just wanted to come out here and say um, JJ was a good friend of mine, and we always did everything together whenever we were at school and all that. I remember going to his house and he just like sang a song. He was like, he was singing a song. He was saying, you are so beautiful by the little rascals. <laughs> I can see JJ's just smiling and just pointing his fingers at us and it was, he just had a big smile on his face and I'm going to miss that smile. JJ always told me everything was going to be okay whenever I was going through hard times. I remember when we were at school and we were playing tag and JJ was like, keep up, come on, you can do it. <laughs> I was like, JJ, I'm getting tired. And he was like, nope, we're gonna kill Billy. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I had so many fun times with JJ and he just kept a smile on my face whenever I was down.
me and JJ went to school together for a very long time, and all those times he always called me his cousins, and he treated me like family. I would call his mom, auntie, his dad, uncle, his, co his brother's cousins. He treated me like family, and I just really appreciate that he was there for me through everything. Thank you. Hi, my name is Catalina Valka. Um, I am one of uh, JJ's friends. Um. Here. I am one of. I just want to thank his parents for um, the love that they gave to me. And I just want to thank JJ for how he's been supporting me and how he's been treating me like a sister. <laughs> and um, I just want to say um, JJ's happiness really been cheering me up. And that. Uh, um, he was really my childhood friend. Um, um I just want to say off a lot, y'all too, and JJ, and to his family, of course, too. And, um, then thank you. Oh, for all the things you've been doing and like how you've been helping me and how you've been making me happy. Um, just, uh, I just want to say um, I'll always miss you and you'll always be in my heart. And, and yeah, I love you, JJ. Good evening, everyone. My name is Karen Florendo. I was JJ's fifth grade teacher. Yes, it was my job to teach JJ, but I know he was placed in my life for a special reason to learn from him. Because of JJ, I have learned the most important lessons. Have a good heart and love each moment of your life. JJ encompassed all of the greatest qualities. He was thoughtful, he was kind, generous, loving, determined, and strong. JJ loved people, and he was a prime example of how to treat others with respect, care, and love. JJ has a sincere heart. He had a way about him that made others feel loved and cared for, no matter what medical battle he was facing. Anytime we would see JJ or FaceTime him, he would ask about my husband and my children. The Wednesday before JJ passed, my friend Alma and I visited. He opened his eyes slowly. Raised his head toward us and gave us his beautiful smile. In his soft, tender voice, he asked, how are you guys? After a minute to catch his breath, he asked, how's Benji and Jimbo? And he took another break and asked, how's Kalena, Mia, and Simone? 
No matter the situation, no matter how much he was hurting, no matter how tired he was, he was always thinking about others before himself. On holidays and special occasions, he would be the first people, one of the first people to greet me with a text. The last drawing he made for our family was for my daughter Mia's second birthday. He called to ask me what Mia's favorite color was. I told him he didn't know his, she doesn't know her colors yet, JJ. He goes, come on, Miss Florendo. I said, maybe, maybe she likes all the colors. And he says, they don't make rainbow Power Rangers. How about purple? All right, JJ. JJ knew I was terrible at knowing the action figures, the superheroes, and the movies. I would always be Googling them while he was talking. But by the time I finished my Google research and tried to add to his conversation, he would look at me and say, that was last season. I'm talking about the newer one. A special video popped up when I was looking at pictures of the happy moments that we shared. And it was of Johnny Wellino and JJ singing a song they had written for me. Whenever it got to a good lyric, JJ would look and point to the camera and it still feels like he's singing right to me. Lastly, I would like to share how much JJ loved his life. And even though his time here on earth was short, he made sure that every single moment counted. While in our fifth grade class, he was diagnosed with a rare type of brain cancer. JJ was in a lot of pain. But no matter what, and pretty much daily, he would ex exclaim at least one of these phrases. This is the best day. This is awesome. This is the best day ever. I love it. Thank you, Miss Florendo. One day a student responded, you just say that every day, JJ. His response was, yes, because every day is awesome. JJ is always in my heart and I especially channel him on my hardest days because JJ is right. Every single day is special and is a blessing. No matter how big or how small, there is always something awesome in every single day. JJ, I promise to be thankful and to find a daily awesome. Thank you for making me a better person and for making this world a better and happier place. Fly high, sing loud, and dance freely, pain-free up there. Rest now, sweet boy. I love you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alma Soria. Another teacher from Cyril's that was blessed by JJ. Uh, first, I thank God for this opportunity to be here with you all. Um, and thank you also for Will and Terry for uh, making it available to speak. Responsible, respectful, selfless, peacemaker, citizen, determined, team player. Seven traits we teach and build in our Cyril students. Throughout his six years at Cyril's, JJ lived and modeled these traits. The eighth trait Cyril's Dolphins strive to have is integrity, encompassing all the other seven traits. This is JJ. Colossians 3, verse 23 in the Amplified Version reads, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from, your, from the soul, that is, put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for men. No matter the situation, diagnosis, dance step, Lego set, JJ always took a step forward with all his grace, all his sweetness, all his courage, and he did it with integrity. He was and is a witness to us all Will and Terry raised a young man of God who is inspiring others to walk with integrity and heart. Thank you for sharing your sweet JJ. 
We miss him already, but we will continue to tell his story and celebrate his life and honor him. We love you, JJ. Thank you so much, um, all the educators. <clears throat> Thank you, New Haven School District, for sharing your heart. We can see how much JJ Arikia impact all of you. So next in our program is a very special song. It was actually, again, all the songs that's being sung, sung specifically, they are JJ's favorites. The first time JJ heard Elias Apole sing River, he was in love with it. He would ask all the time, he wanted to hear Esther. He, would, he wanted to hear Esther sing the song. So now um, the Pole Boys are going to perform uh, River. Thank you so much. And also, uh, just to kind of run our program, um, really appreciate you guys' patience. After they perform, oh Boy and Daniela will perform. While they're performing, Terry Lynn's family can make themselves up here on the side. Those who are going to speak, please come to the side while the performance are happening so we can continue to run our program. Thank you so much for being patient with us and um, now it is the Pole Boys.
thanks to the Lord. Not everybody in the world can say that they knew JJ. So I consider everybody in this room blessed. If you look around in this house of worship, you can see all the hearts that he touched. Though his life was cut short, our memory lives on. Till we meet again, don't we? Thank you, Bole, for singing for JJ. I'm asking um, Hopoi and uh, Daniela Tupo to keep singing. And please, there's um, the next one for Terry's family to get ready. When Hopoi finished and Daniela their song, and then the um, Terry's family have the speech for tonight. And then after that, and then we go from there. Thank you. Oh, 
Fa Ne finangalo ke fakahoko mai ki tau tolu pe a moe ki tamasi ko eni ki e mama ni ko eni pe a ko e konga eni o ne mea o fa kune hanga uia ki api pe a ko tu ko e fa feta i pe a moe fa malo ke o tua ko hi ke u fa fofonga tu pe a e family o ko ilo pe ko si fa fofonga tu e family e tamai. Ka ko ma o e tāpua ki ko eni ke whawhonga to e whāmiri ko i a e whā e. Ko u humai ko e ki he eni ki whalotu i he aha ko eni. O si o hake ki he hingoa ko eni o e peki a. Ko ono hingoa ko tjei tjei. Pea ko whakau kau pe ko e hā u hinga hingoa ko u. Hanga e kate au ko u manatu au ki he. I mau tolu wau mau lele mea mai me kau wai koe taha I men lau paka uwe seven eleven ye uwe farekai Hau wai i koe tjei tjei Pea kou pehe au koe hingoa ia Kau toki lave i hifo i he I e ki tohi koe nyo e prokalama e po ni Ta koe hingoa ia o e pekia ko si o sifa sione Pea Koe ki lea nou nou be te ufai i he aho koe ni. I want to remind the mom. Koe ki hwanga o iloi pe kune whaka whaka kau kau i ae mea koe ni. Ka i he mahu inga koe moe hivi koe o e mea koe hingoa. Ke he taimi koe na ke hangai koe e mam moe teti o name him Joseph. I wonder, Pekunana Iloi, what is behind the name? He koe mo ui koe asio sifa e alu pehia o hange koe hingoa koe o kui. Pe enta moa iu kou na name Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Pe alu pehia moe li liu a hingoa ia koe ia ana ki he fo i kakano i mo ui koe o hingoa asio sifa. Pe ko ki hao tangu tu mei se awha kau kau ki a si o sifa. Pe au si o ki he alunga o e ki tamasi ini. Ko e mo on e mo on. It's like Joseph. Ko si ko si o sifa mo wanga be o manatui. Na e tupu hake i he no ki family. Ko e ki tamasi i fehi ane ki nae. 
Anu hende sehi ya neki na i Oli ya kefule pa Koe try ya lori ya Pe koe Fainata aya na aluka siyo sifa Pea osko ya Pea toe awe ya ufakatau ki ispite O alu nga awe kapotifa Pea tuku waki kovi ya ya E mario potifa Pea alu ay ki ha Ke plisone Alu ta ea hano aung hano uhinga Ka koe ne alu koe ki e plisone Koe talate uia Ki he ha Kene alu o nofo he taloni ko o ispite. That is the blessing of the life of Joseph. He went from trial, he went from hardship of life, and what he ends up in the right hand of Pharaoh. If we look at Kokbeko Hipo Kosiosifa, Koi Taipei Okalaisi. Kaike na toe kehe kehe. Ma mahi koe na ihe eiki na e hoko pehe peia ki a siosifa. Ka koe kumari e ia koe he hingoa pa e one to speak direct to the mother. Mo ilo oksai pe a te tia. But mom, please listen to me tonight. You call him and you name him Joseph, and that ko me aya ko na ko fluwa mo ui aki tamasi ini ihe life ko ya siosipa he fainga taa. But at the end, his name is John, the beloved. How can you go to be a beloved of God? You have to go through suffering. In life, Terry, it is over. I don't know why you call him Joseph John. You name him Joseph, and that is why your son go through all of this trial. But then you name him John, the beloved of God. Tonight. He is done with the suffering, and he become the beloved of God now. For me, don't cry anymore. Kokutala no adu au te ameho tafaaki koya ho teti. No more cry. If you look up, kapan na lama he otua ke ne faka aho matata pa mokoi, Okutata alo maia at the other side of the river. Mom, don't cry. I am here with God. I love you. Amen. I don't hear you. Amen. Mom, you have to say amen tonight. Koe ki mo ui ya ho foha, na e ngahui pe ya he otua ke no no pehepe. Pea ku alu pe a siosifa hoko pe ke hingoa koe na e ui ki ai. Pea ku whakawheta in mahalo ko viliami na nihanga o et mai ki ai ai fo hingoa koe sione. Koe uhi ke ke safa ki tama si i he trial o e mo ui, but at the end, he will become the beloved of God. That is why we are here. Give me a smile, daughter. I know it's hard to smile, Derry. Give me a smile before I go sit down. Why? Because he is the beloved of God. Of art from Fife Adonia, my town for Allah Maria, who fight the family coni, of art to the family go to a pay for the one hang her or two are, or tap working the daughter, a maman coni, Mufadongai, or Taufononga, a Safa, a Melaki, a maman coni. But don't worry, we are the beloved of God. Level 11, Maranga of the Dawah.
Amalat kele na ito osi, pa ko ko le famol moliat ko la ga ipe. I know there are a lot of people they want to sing, all kind of group, but this opportunity, I have to give it to Reverend Kalatini Ahio on this moment, and thank you very much. Tabu <laughs> United Methodist Church and all the clergy who are here with us tonight. My greeting to all of you tonight, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I warmly welcome you. Welcome home. My name is Kalatina Hill. I'm the pastor of G Church. So on behalf of Hayward First United Methodist Church, welcome home. To the church. It reminds us when the white people, first white people came to Tonga and they have found Tonga and they named Tonga, they give Tonga a name. It's a friendly island. And that means they did not even find a cold. All they found from the people of Tonga, the compassionate people. Ko e kakai o kulanga ai mafu he o fa. Amen. Ya kutari tari fi e fi a i motoru e poni. Ko lawe i ko e tokolai he wote o ke i lotu ke kawai. Amen. <laughs> Where Amwala, he has a talking chief named Tamwe Benu, and also Sonifatai. JJ grandmother Karela has a two brothers here, Wea and Wea Mwala and Sonifatai. And Wea Mwala asked me a long time ago if that be possible when JJ passed away to do the funeral service here. So in our culture, when the elderly man asks, ask the young people or salute. And when she, uh, JJ passed away, Susanna called me and I said, I say yes to your dad before and I yes still. Amen. And I wanna thank you for the family for allowing JJ to have a farewell celebration here. This is our church. God has given this property through the conference for us. So on behalf of uh, Hayward First, I warmly welcome you home. My last words in Psalm 127, 
the wisdom man in the Old Testament is King Solomon. And he said, the children are the gift from God. So that means JJ and all of us, we come from God. And we all going to go back to where we come from. It's not your children, it's not my children. Children belong to God. Once God breathed his spirit to the dust and we become the child, the daughter, and the son of God. Today, we come with the spirit of celebration and salute that God's called JJ come back home and rest in peace. But you know, his promise, JJ going back home. But he's promised to be with you. Go and fear no more, fear no evil. God the greater is in you forever and ever. Of our do. Fai mali ko ni e wa nge ya ke fa na ko ni ke na hui ma lo Hello everybody. Um, for those of you guys who don't know us, um, uh, we're JJ's older cousins. Um, my mom, Lolini Kamala, I thought it was William's um, eldest sister. And so, um, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for just giving us this opportunity to sing to JJ one more time. Uh, for as long as I can remember, every time we go and visit JJ, he, um, they would always ask us to sing, and um, JJ would compliment all of my sisters and my brothers, and even my mom's voice, but never mind. So. Hopefully tonight, um, JJ, uh, as we sing this one last song to you and Lady to rest, um, we just want to let you know that we love you and that we're just so grateful for the time that we got to spend with you. So um, the song is called Cry No More.
That was an amazing um, speech from Will's mom's family side, and also the kids who just sang up here are Will's cousins from his mother's side. Kalapuaf um, Maya, please sing a song, and can I ask Terry Lynn's family, those who are sharing, please come up. Thank you. I feel ตาบุเกไฟฟ้าก็ตาอีเบเกเกาไฟฟ้าก็ตัวเบมุเมะเฮนิเฮปอนฟาตาบัวตุเกตามายมุฟาเอวิยามเฮเกเฮวินกิ
Kaya <laughs> Naya ye na fa nau ko lahi ko ta mai ago tangata foa mo do lu gi ta lahi ange ko ta mai na ne fa fa pa fo fo nga ya tonga he aga pulu ta fo fo nu he nga ta ta gu ya ye no of he fit de hen ko ha mi so re city Kau fikir kau wow, kau kuih ngau kau via mata kau. Kau fikir tau lu, aku hei di aku hawa, fana aku mui fana mala bunga. Kau fikir tau lu kita magolo robet, kau de malolo. Kau ini fana aku, aku nak via Australia. Kau fikir fa. Ko tarita, pero kung kaya kela ba mahata, ko fana ug Australia, e kung ay toko taha yori ko ni, na tama yung fine na tama kibuke. Ko figa ni mago siyon ni fatay, o maho ay katupo, pero kung na ihe ni mo na fana. Pamabuna. Koi o no, nai malo lope o kukei sisi. Koi fika fitu, ko kere laia. Koi faeia a teu lini. Nai mao hoa kere laia. Kita tak akan mutonga. Ia mutu aku ofa perik. Mungkin aku yang lele noa. Dan ia ia nak fanau. Kau lahir kau tu inau. Kau kuhenim. Ho amu fanau. Kau fikir wa na eu ia kau muana. Karena anda itu ngape. Ya, nani malu lo aje itu mah. Kau fikir tau lu, kau Luisa, kau mau ho, kau guni itu mah pe. Ya, kau si si yang terlini, nai nawa mai pe, nai aku kei si si. Oh, go ahead, oh, my God, Gabriel. We are in a far now. Tanga tai tol, go e lahi e ni. O tau e ni ai. Ke whakaha e tau, whakaha baba mo e tau ofa. Ia deia. Ia ho, go ahead, oh, my God, Gabriel. Tanga tai tol. Tak uyah ibu yang kita mai fikir ni. Tahu fakar fikir lagi hebat tua. Ia ni ofa ko fai mata dulu. And I want to say thank you for those who are not speak Tongan for everything you have done for say say. I know you guys, you help a lot, help 
the new love she had in his parents and their family. And may God bless you all. all. Now, be here, a shone, cosperi, tol kahano. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, and whoever going to believe Him not be perish. Having the everlasting life. Go far for thy life, homo wofa. Hege go for the go. For Malo Gagaladini. Go for the go of her body. If far for the Marianne, I far a coining. O fire yet out for a bab of Faraoshi. Yes, yes, yes. Key dollar door for housing. And I know for bear she so. I allow to Dangata to Fungalao. Very young as she so. Because I have a cow mahuing at a ha. Tarigo as she so. Oh, for Giho Otoa. Agi Hokotoa. Oh, forget who come up be. Oh, hang it go. Oh, forget the go. I bear the pot of going. Go high, who come up be. The fire is he so at Talanoa. Get Tamata go your night, Kafu. Togo to him, Hala. Night, Ta. Go, Kaiha go. Toe Tamata. But for Motala, I don't tabu. Nay, I am Tamata Ua. Go on Tamata lot to win. Nanao Fonomatu. Fanomo give it to it. Then Naki Yafi now is a Fagio Al Mahalon and Mahuinga. I fought on your Fagalo to Nay Alge Tamata. Aloha do e ua ko e mea ta tau pe. Kai aloha do e samaritane lere i. Fanongo gihe toe. Nani hifo. Tului. Whakaheka gihe ne kameri. Awe gihe whare tari whononga. Oni tāgi ai oange sirini. Kau hie ni, pega si si e na, te utoi foki mai o totongi. Hea doi tufunga la oga si su, o hai hoku kau ngā api. Pe hui koi a dai fai e si su kehe, tangata tufunga la o, pe koi tari e tangata tufunga la o nei pehe mai. Koi ana e fai o fa. Koi kau ngā apia o e tangata kafo. E pēr tua si su. Alo fai pehe. Moko e foki. Koi o fai a e o tua. Loro tonga be e tau. Fai ko ta i a hea ngā hala. Ko fai. Fuck him, I hono all out of pay, Tahan if I do book. The boy had two big tiger day. Oh, now, I mow, I mow it down at that. Marai never made that gate, Tom, we are hit out for no man. Get out fire off, Aki. Fagatau ange, ke mou, mau ku iwi, mou mau ke resi mihe otoa. 
At this time, <clears throat> I would like JJ Stucklehood to sing some songs. Please, family, friends, this is your time to come and pay your respect to JJ. Once our time is up, we will have a closing prayer and um, we will finish up our program. But please, at this time, Kalapuapimaya, please sing a song, sing some songs and Please, JJ's family and friends, this is your time. Please come and pay your respect, view, and come and greet the family. Thank you so much.
Gigi, me and Gigi can't leave the living room, Jay. You knew you were gonna leave us and you didn't wanna tell me. You didn't wanna tell me you were leaving us. Oh, Jay, I'm so sorry if I failed you, sir. In any way, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no.
have two minutes. We have two minutes. Now on my clock, we have one minute. One minute. Thank you, family. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much, family and friends. Let's go ahead. Please say your goodbye real quick. I need you to go back to your seat. You can return tomorrow. Thank you so much. Terry Lynn's sisters, please.
Get out all the Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, God of all people, God of all nations, God of all generations, God of this country called America, and God we trust, God of friendly island of Tonga, God and Tonga are my heritage. We came before you this very moment to give you thanks for all the blessing that you have blessed upon us. Your name deserves to be praised. Father, we thank you for a beautiful soul. It was named Joseph John Arikia, JJ. He gathered us here together tonight. He wanted to be a preacher. He wanted to be a pastor. He was a preacher. From his deathbed, he said, Williams, the Iroquois family, and the Maus family. Give them peace and comfort. Blessed are those who died in Christ. They're only sleeping. Amen. My Lord, for my Lord to each and every one, and so is to the district superintendent and all the bursars that are here with us. So is Lavnia Beyongo Ahome being here with us tonight. And drive home safety, God will be with us. So it's tomorrow morning, we start at 7 o'clock, the program until 12 from over here and we go on from there and thank you very much. <laughs>